everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Border City Rock Talk. You get great news, great interviews, great interviewees, sometimes a comedic touch. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the like button and comment all you want. Before further ado, I bring to you Australian rocker Cleo Alexandra. How are you, Cleo? I'm great. I'm really good. I've watched some of your videos and when's your goatee gone? Go on oh, now. I was just like, I mean, just supporting, you know, Men's Health Month. Um, I uh, shaved it for November. Yeah. It's like November, yeah. right? What? Yeah. Wait, it's it. It's April. Fuck. Maybe it's April. May November. April. November. <laughs> I like that. They, that should be a new thing for sure. Kind yeah, of everybody like should. A goatee, but I definitely can't. Yeah. Well, hope not. <laughs> Thank you. Um. Anyway, so I got you on the show. Um. One of my friends sent me a link to um your channel. And I'm very infatuated with Australia as a country and uh, the demographics and stuff. Watch some of your videos and uh, we'll talk about the new one. But um, while watching your videos, everybody's got to check out Taken by Desire, which is um, amazing. It's got like a quarter of a million views. And I understand you helped in the editing process. Everybody check this out. But take us through that, um, um, the songwriting process for Taken by Desire. Then we'll get into Cigarette Lover. Yeah, so the video for that in particular, I did have to edit that myself. It was like my first professionally filmed video um, and to really give it that edge I wanted, I took on the editing process myself and I'm so happy with the outcome. Um, that's actually one of the songs uh, I wrote and produced with Keith Olsen, who's like a legendary producer from America. He's worked with like Fleetwood Mac and... Uh, Ozzy Osbourne and all the greats mm -hmm. and so that track's like very close to my heart because it's one of the first songs I ever wrote um, and it, the guitarist on there is my producer JJ like it's so it's one of the heavier songs I have and it accompanied with the video it just I, I'm really happy you are into that one because it's one of my favorites yeah for sure and all the all, I got 99% male subscribers so they're gonna love it <laughs> okay. oh, cool i so, definitely want to know what they think of it yeah sure. you guys People comment below and get really drawn yeah. to that one yeah yeah they'll comment below trust me anywho so um i was checking out your youtube channel it says cleo well first of all cleo that that must be short for cleopatra or am i wrong um i mean i think so yes i think that's okay, where cleo you... came from Cleopatra, yeah. Okay, okay, so that's a stage name. I didn't know that because I think maybe your name that's might serve with an S. So, yeah, because my uh, my middle name's Alexandra. Oh. Uh, but I really wanted a name with a bit a bit unique to stand out, have a bit of an edge, and um, you know, Cleo kind of fit that. So Alexandra's my middle name, and I added Cleo in front of it, and yeah, it's working out well so far. Everyone seems to love it. <laughs> No, it's actually, it's amazing because I'm into history too and I'm thinking, okay, Cleopatra, <laughs> Alexandria, Egypt, and all that stuff. So anyways, yeah, um, it said yeah. be the, beside there on the YouTube channel that AKA Cigarette Lover, and I said to myself, I said, well, is she a cigarette smoker? And I'm thinking, okay, I'm looking at those teeth. I'm thinking not, but you don't, you're not a cigarette <laughs> smoker. You're just a cigarette no. lover? Explain that. Um, well, in the AI video, um, Cigarette Lover I made it like a villain, like a persona, like it's a personifying like all your darkest like thoughts and, you know, fantasies basically. She's like a badass and she's like a villain. And in the video she goes around like killing like her ex-lovers with like getting revenge from her past ex-lovers with like poison cigarettes and things like that. So we made it like a character and it was introduced in uh, my music video, Who Can It Be Now? We introduced the character and now with Cigarette Lover, the video coming out. We're like really showing off what she's all about with the song. That's awesome. Actually, Cigarette Lover is out now. It's actually it's yes, already yes. live. It, it, yeah. it came out, it premiered on Monday, and now yeah. it's out live for everyone to go watch. And it's I'm really just, excited about it. It's going to yeah. zoom up to at least a quarter of a million very soon. So the link's below, guys, so check that out. Um, so who can I be now? Awesome. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm into the hard rock stuff. We talked before we started to record Angry Anderson and, um, you yeah. know, um, yeah. Silver Chair, those bands. Yeah, but having said that, 
Who, who cannot love men at work? No, I know. Men at work, they're incredible. They're like legends, at least back in Australia. Like their song, um, Down Under, is like the unofficial national anthem in Australia. Like, um, And just I love the history of rock in Australia with like ACDC and Silverchair and newer bands like Violent Soho and things like that. Like I'm still really inspired by the Australian rock scene in excess like that's what I grew up listening to and they definitely inspire my music I'm sure like, that um you didn't grow up, sorry I'm sure you no, didn't no. grow up with listening to air supply but you know air supply and you know I do know air supply I think my parents listen to air supply your parents yeah. your grandparents yeah because you're quite young for sure <laughs> Um, who else do I love from Australia? I mean, I love, I mean, I'm not a country fan, but I mean, I do like a bit of Keith Urban and stuff Keith like Urban. that. He's cute. Yeah. Yeah. I actually live near the uh, Australian country capital and he still goes there a lot. Like he still visits, it's like a little town in Australia, but it's like the country music capital there. And he still visits there a lot. It's really cool. He seems like a really cool guy. Yeah. Are you, are you talking about the the capital of Australia? Uh, country music capital in oh, Australia. Okay. Okay. Um, it's a place called Tamworth. It's kind of like uh, known kind of like Nashville is here, like in a little bit of a way, like, you know, for like country music and stuff like that. It's like the hub of country music in Australia. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's that's where Keith Urban got his start is in Tamworth. So, yeah, it has a cool history. Awesome. Well, let me clue you in on something. I need to tell you something that people okay. aren't people are aware of. No, this is a good thing. Everybody for decades used to think of Nashville as the country hub, which it was. These days, mm. Cleo, you got to check it out. Hard rockers, black metal, every kind yeah. of music. It, it Nashville is the <laughs> scene right now for music. It really is. It's not just country. Yeah. I've interviewed yes, so many I've hard rockers that. that live down there. Yeah, I've heard that. Like my producer, JJ, that lives here, um, he keeps saying that too. He's like, Nashville, like one day you're going to get down to Nashville. Like the music scene there is like incredible, like it's unmatched. So, yeah, I have heard that for sure. I really hope I can visit there one day because so, it sounds awesome. Right now you're in the States and through the publicist that I spoke with, I thought that you might have relocated here. Are you just on a promotional tour because you're, you're in California, correct? Right yeah. Now? Yeah, so this is my first visit. I'm here to, like, promote the new single, write some new stuff with my uh, producer, JJ, and I'm getting, like, a little band together and we're recording, like, acoustic versions of my songs, like Cigarette Lover and um, uh, Dream Fever, which is a newer song of mine. Um, so we're getting some acoustic sets together and we're writing new stuff and hopefully the long-term goal will be to relocate here and really, like, hopefully like tour and everything at some point, like really get that going. I was just going to say, so how long are you um, in uh, North America for? Do you plan on doing any acoustic shows or anything or is it a wait and see um, kind of thing? Or We're hopefully going to. Um, it's still up in the air at the moment because I've only been here for like two days. So we're still like working out the whole vibe and like where we're going to go, how we're going to tackle everything. Um, but that's, Hopefully, fingers crossed, that's on the roster while I'm here. Um, otherwise, I'm here till the beginning of May. So otherwise, hopefully, I hope to come back like later in the year and do like Maybe do some, some shows. shows. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you working on a full length EP or anything at this point? Or you're always writing, it sounds like. And you're actually like, you're, like always I said. Writing. I'm... Yeah. Yeah. The plan is to just keep on writing, especially like uh, my visit here now write lots of material and eventually release an album. Hopefully, hopefully within like the next year or so would be amazing. But um, that is the plan to release like an album for Perfect. sure. Like absolutely. Yeah. So a bit of your bio, um, did I read that you won Miss Australia? Like, I don't know, it could have been the beauty pageant, <laughs> but or is it a singing thing? No, I know. I don't know where that came from. I, Cause I oh, used that's... to model. I used to do modeling in Australia, um, but no, no, I've never, I've never even entered uh, Miss Australia. Um, I don't know where that came from, but that has popped up online a few times and I'm like, I, I, I've never even entered a Miss Australia contest. So no, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> 
Well, what's the point of entering it with a guaranteed win? Oh, yeah. Just Thanks for making me blush. I'm just, a, I'm just a quirky Canadian. Actually, you know I'm Canadian, right, eh? I think, yes, I do, yeah. Yeah, of okay, because I'm on the border. with. I was talking to Melissa, yeah. I'm as close as you can get to the States without actually being there. We're actually, I can okay. see the... Oh, cool. Yeah, oh, no, about um, two kilometers. Cool. Actually, you guys are still smart in Australia. You guys use kilometers. Yes, we do. We yeah. do too it's because it's confusing to you with miles. I'm like, oh, I like I don't understand it and like Fahrenheit and everything. Yeah, and kilograms yeah. and pounds. Those crazy Americans. Yeah. They're they're nut bars over there. <laughs> so I just got a couple That's more cool. questions. I won't keep you too long, but I'm gonna put the links and everything to your sites. So what got yeah. you into singing? And um, just give us a little bit of a bio for the non-Australian audience um, about Cleo. Okay. Um, well, obviously, like, I feel like so many musicians are like this, but, like, I don't even remember when it started because I just w always would sing and write. Like, I remember writing a song when I was, like, five and, like, wanting to show everyone. And then I, like, picked up the guitar at 13 and started doing guitar lessons and everything, and I'd write just, like, in secret. Like, I was so shy when I was little. Like, no one, like, I think had any clue that I sung and like wrote songs for such a long time um and then like what once I graduated high school I started doing my own demos and posting them online and that's when my first demo ever uh called Criminal got picked up by Keith Olsen who I mentioned earlier mm -hmm. um such a great guy he's unfortunately passed now but mm -hmm. such a legend like especially with the rock music and everything like, like I was so I learned much from him he kind of took me under his wing and was my mentor and from there's where I met JJ my current producer amazing guitarist like really knows his stuff and we just clicked and from there I've just been writing and releasing music as often as I can um really honing my craft and um yeah my next goal is to keep releasing stuff and also start doing live shows like because that's a part of the experience I haven't been able to do much yet. So that's what I'm hoping for in the future is doing more live shows and, you know, getting a really solid band together, which we've already started doing on my trip here. So um, I'm really excited for the future and um, where everything might go for sure. Awesome. So with the, with the Cigarette Lover, obviously it's um, AI driven. Uh, what made you uh, and maybe, maybe uh, JJ, um, Mm -hmm. decide on going that via um like old school kind of videography with actual yeah so the ai was interesting because i'd never worked with ai before and i made it last year so there was even like less to know about ai and yeah it was my producer jj's idea he's like you know what like we have this villain idea for the cigarette lover he's like why don't we do an ai video because what you can make with AI is like insane and you can go out of the realms of reality as well with AI. Right. Um, and so I kind of like, I did it all myself. I like researched and I, it, there was definitely a learning curve, but I like, uh, I used the Kyber AI, which is a video generating AI. And okay. you could put videos, like you feed it videos and then you tell it what you want. And I even fed it like video of myself so that cigarette lover in the video is like an AI version of me. Oh, and okay. I kind of, yeah, I created this whole like storyline uh, about how she's escaped from prison and the police like chasing her and there's like a car chase and there's like, explosions and she's like killing people. And in the end, she's like, I won't give the end away. But um, it was just so cool because obviously if I didn't have AI, I wouldn't have been able to create a video like that with explosions and your car chase. And it was really fun to play around with it and uh, really amplify the darker side of the lyrics and the villain persona I created right. around it. Like, it was really, really cool and really fun, but it was a lot of hard work. Like that was, it took me months to edit that video together and generate the AI visuals like it, but everyone loves it and, um, uh, yeah, I'm just really excited for people to see it now that it's live on YouTube. Yeah. Like it's, yeah, I'm excited. I watched it this morning. It, it is really awesome, guys. You got to check it out. 
And yeah, so like you, you, you know how to do video editing. I kind of use DaVinci Resolve myself, but I know the painstaking time it takes to edit even four minutes of something. So yeah. using AI, if it takes months, it must have been an incredible process. It was rough because ha I had to generate like every scene, like every frame almost like separately. Um, but yeah, now, now like fast forward a year, there's so many more video AI generators around that you might be able to do a bit easier. But this was like the beginning of last year. So I had very limited options, but in the end, I'm really, really thrilled with it. Yeah. That was awesome. Really... That's what you said. It was rough. <laughs> with my accent. I love your right. accent. And it's oh, funny. Really? Um, <laughs> yeah, well, everybody likes an accent that's farther from them because it's more exotic. I remember going to Peru and, um, well, this is no oh, slight nice. to my American viewers, but anyways, long story short was the guy said, are you American? I said, no, I'm Canadian. He goes, okay. <laughs> Americans get a bad rap and they shouldn't, but. No, all they my do. I've heard that. Yeah. I've definitely Americans. always wanted to go to Canada though. Like it's. Well, we say a at the end of things. So if yeah. But you. Yeah, you a always... and a boat. Everybody says it. I don't know. A boat, a boat. Um, but a the boat. funny thing is that's what I how I can tell if you're like American or Canadian it's when they say a boat and I'm like, oh they can they're Canadian. <laughs> yeah. There's um a lot of people confuse Australian and English, like England, their accents, but I don't. Yeah. Because I know you guys are smarter. No, yeah, that can happen. Um, I don't know. I feel like maybe when you're not around the accent a lot, you can't tell the difference between Australian and People England? from like the UK, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, England. Yeah, but um, yeah, I have heard that. I've never been mistaken for an from being from England yet. But, well, you um, have I straight guess... teeth. Uh oh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> oh my god! No, that was that was a pretty good dig though. No, <laughs> I used to live in England it. actually. Yeah, I used to live there. I lived there for a year. Um, Whereabouts? I lived like kind of near the city of Bath, which is like an hour's drive from London. So I didn't okay. live in the London area, but it was a great experience. And the music scene there is incredible, like really, really cool. So I really cherish that experience. Yeah, it was I really cool. Said, I didn't mean whereabouts. I meant whereabouts. <laughs> anywho, oh anywho. Um, yeah, I'm just bugging you, you my, my UK friends. You can bug me all you want. So a couple quick things before I let you go. Yeah. Um, your website um, and your channels, just just list them, but I'll just tell the viewers where to go and find you and what hotel room you're at. And I'm just kidding on that one too. But I'll put the oh link below. Um, so I'm on every social media platform, uh, underscore Alexandra. And my website's just cleanalexandra.com. Like super easy to find. So I yeah, I appreciate it. if people can come follow me online. It, that would be amazing. I'm even on Threads. I'm on everything. Wow, Threads! Are you you can't yeah, MySpace. Your parents are might, might be on MySpace. Maybe, but no, I I kind of missed them. I was a bit too young for the MySpace thing. I kind of missed that boat. But apparently, they're thinking of bringing it back, though. I've heard. So wow, let's hope maybe not. No, <laughs> no, it's terrible. <laughs> Okay, so really? um, I always got to ask this this question here, Cleo. Favorite Canadian band, music, artist, or personality? You know what? Um, I've always loved Shania Twain. Yes. Um, Celine Dion. Yeah. Um, I mean, you could always throw younger me. Didn't mind Justin Bieber. <laughs> yeah. But um, I don't know, I'm trying to think. But I feel like Shania Twain and like Celine Dion are like. Perfect. Like big two Canadian, like I mean, come on, like incredible. And Brian Adams. Yeah. Brian Adams, yes, no fucking way, yeah, Brian yes. Adams, absolutely awesome. hands down, awesome. He yeah. had perfect. All right, I'd like to thank you for your time, and I just want to ask you a final question. What's the yeah. opposite? <laughs> the opposite, opposite of unsubscribe. The opposite, opposite of unsubscribing. Opposite. opposite it's easy it's easy answer cleo subscribing what? 
Everybody do as Cleo Alexandra from Australia. <laughs> that's that's a dumb answer. I thought that was like I a just, trick question. I, just made I was up. like, what? Am I no, missing I confuse something? people. It's a simple answer. Yeah. So yeah, everybody do as Cleo <laughs> says from uh, Australia and subscribe to the channel for these great interviews. I'll put links down below for you guys. Go check out her stuff, buy her merch, and um, go and stream her uh, her music and um, get on board the Cleo train. Great. Yeah. Yeah, All thank right. you so much. This was awesome. Thank you. My first interview in America, actually. Is this your first interview in America? Wow. Mm -hmm. I feel, yes, I feel yes. very yes. humbled. And thanks, Melissa, for bringing this to us. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're amazing. <laughs> thanks a lot. Have a, All right, I'm gonna, I'll edit this part out, uh, Cleo. This was awesome. You're very, very nice.